All right, Ran. So the final tip for this week is uh, import multiple mesh. Okay, so you can do that by using sub two master multi insert. So this is very useful because uh, we will be able to import in the different meshes straight into one project. And it's very useful if you have a lot of meshes that you want to import. And uh, I'm also going to cover something uh, I would think that is kind of funny in ZBrush, which is this import function under tools. And uh, help you to get an idea of this whole area here. This what what's this tool about? And then uh, because it's kind of related, okay. And uh, I do think it's kind of weird. I feel like I'll group this under one of the weird things, along with uh, edit mode in ZBrush. Yeah. So these are some of the black box or, or weird things that is uh, just baffling to me. Why why is in ZBrush like this? But anyway, it's a great software. Just uh, small things that. I think could be better and uh, okay without further ado let's get started so for example if I were to recreate the problem for you to see yeah? so uh, of transparency of perspective so I have a demo soldier let's say I want to import things into my scene okay so I'll go down to just the boots and then you can see so I'm selecting boots now okay and then now if I want to import pay attention eh? import in uh, OBJ. Okay, so I already have some OBJ that I've selected. So let's say I import in a gear 3D. Okay, so now my gear 3D is over here. I import in my gear 3D and my boots disappeared. Ta-da! My boots, do you see? He's not wearing boots anymore. My boots became a gear 3D. So Essentially, what ZBrush wants you to do is, uh, if you want to import something, man, you need to uh, duplicate this thing because what what we are going to do is, what you imported here, we are going to replace it here. Ha ha. So uh, it's not an insert, it's an import, and then we're going to replace your boots. So if I were to do, undo this, I get my boots back. So this is kind of kind of funny to me. Okay, so uh, how I go around with that is that. Uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this. Okay, so now I have two boots, and uh, the the spare pair of boots I'll use it as a placeholder to import some of this uh, gear. So now I have my I have my gear, and now I also have my boots. Okay, then then uh, I can shift my gear up and put it into place if I want to. Okay, so you can see that uh, if we use this idea and we want to import in a series of OVJ, it's going to be a little bit tedious sometimes and it's a bit stupid. But I do intend to um, tell everyone to use ZBrush and Maya every now and then and uh, back and forth process and it should be seamless. And I just, that's why I want to talk about this and uh, help with this uh, seamless process. So just take note for now because I'm recreating this kind of problems for you to see and I'm going to create multiple placeholders. So if I want to import another word stuff, let's say I want a helix. Okay, I need to uh, put that in place and then I'll bring in a helix. And then uh, let's say I want to import something else, I always need to duplicate. Duplicate something and then I'll have a copy. So this placeholder here will be good for me to bring in things. Okay, so now I have a sphere. Now I have a helix, now I have a gear 3D. So just random objects to just show you, you know, sometimes maybe you think, okay, I can model that so much faster in Maya and I can bring it into ZBrush, I can do a Dynamesh and I can add, add the details on top, IMM brush, that kind of stuff. And then the, if you if you have uh, some kind of back and forth process like this, it'll be cool. You know, so do you need to keep in mind, make a duplicate, and uh, have a placeholder before you import stuff. Okay, so I hope you understand that. That's the first part. Okay, so our demo soldier now has how many tools here? We have like 14. So if we toggle this uh, visible count, we can see all our sub tools. And yet we have like 14 sub tools. So what if we want to uh, bring it in one by one? So it will be quite tedious. So let me show you. So in my cylinder, Okay, this is another tool. So all this is a different tool scene. So if I click on this cylinder here, let's say I want to bring in this uh this human here. Okay. If I want to bring in this human, I need 
my selection on this layer to be on the human and then I go back to this uh, cylinder and I press now I go back to my cylinder and then I press a pen to uh, to append my uh, demonstrator and I only get one demonstrator yeah I didn't get different parts of him so if I have 15 parts I will need to do it 15 times so now I need to import in the head I select the head I go back to cylinder and then uh, I'm gonna pen the shirt go back to this I'm gonna select the vest and then go back to the cylinder append the vest go back to this select the backpack go back to this append backpack go back to this select the shoulder guard go back to the cylinder append the shoulder guard so it is kind of tedious guys it is kind of tedious you can tell this uh, append is how we uh, get a tool from another tool or let's say you if you ex import in something uh, from Maya and then uh, you, you may end up having multiple projects and then you want to transfer between them you know so so it's very common this problem and uh, you need to use a pen or insert and then uh, to just jump so let's say now I want to import it into sphere so now I need to select a sphere and then go back to cylinder and I press a pen and then now I have the selection for sphere okay then I can do that but it's a bit tedious so now I'm gonna teach you another method okay so I go to a brand new uh, cylinder scene or just now if you didn't see me uh, do that you can press a copy tool and paste tool so we will have a duplicate cylinder scene okay so so what's a better way for us to do everything in one door so that's where this uh, tip come in right so import multiple mesh sub to master multi insert so that's why uh, I created this tip for you and I think it's really useful. I'm going to point you guys back to this in case any of you forget. So step one, we will save the project as a Z2 file. Okay, so now I need to go to my uh, this uh, project over here, this demo soldier, and I need to save as a Z2 file. So I'll say, I'll just name it one more time. Uh, soldier with gears, you know. So I save it as a Z2. Take note, it's under tools, not a Z project. Okay, Z project is over here, Z tools is over here. So I save it as a Z2, I'll be able to import the whole thing in. So I go back to my cylinder. Now, if I want to import in my file, uh, you can go to sub tool master and just press uh, multi insert, and we are going to load in. Demo soldier with gears, the one that I just saved. So it's gonna give you a bit of warning, but overall it's gonna know exactly what I want to do. I want to import in the whole model and all the tools that's in it as well. So I have my cylinder and I have all my tools in. Very happy now. So just in case uh, you have a workflow problem and you will need to export, import multiple, OBJs and ZBrush, please take note of this that I covered in this video. And uh, you can play around with these uh, models that um, I OBJs that I leave for you to experiment in the files that I pass to you. So, in under the folder, okay, you go to uh, import model, you have uh, different gears, OBJ, and the demo soldier for you to import in. Alright, so I hope you really learn how the this weird thing about import and uh being the and about uh and about appending multiple sub tools easily in zbrush and i'll see you in the next video all right okay bye bye